Hey buddies, it's your girl Actressine, and today we are checking out Don't Open the Door, a murder mystery thriller story time from something scary, well not from something scary, it's something scary, from Snarled. Um, you guys requested that I check this out. Um, it's been a while since we've done Snarled, I think during October, during our Halloween uh, time of the year, we did a lot of Snarled stuff. And the stories are normally really good. I think there were a couple that were kind of like, meh, at the end. But for the most most part, they're really good stories. Um, I'm excited to see what this one's about. It's a murder mystery thriller. Okay, let's see. Link is in the description box below for you to check out. Now let's get started. Stay tuned to the end of the episode for a special announcement. Okay, we will do. Hey, I'm Sapphire. Want to hear something scary? Here. Volume 3, Home Sweet Home. The people. If I were you, I'd lock my doors before listening to our final chapter. Oh dear. This is a story okay. of I'm Donna, nervous. a young girl who was left home alone one night for a little too long. Oh dear. There once was a 15 year old named Donna. Her mother died when she was very young, oh. and it was just her and her dad ever since, living hey, in Donna. a peaceful suburb. They had yeah. grown incredibly close over the years. That's they good. would always know what the other was thinking Aww. and even feel when the other was near. That's good. Some joked that they were psychically connected. One morning, Donna and her father were having breakfast. Okay. I've got a meeting later today, he said. Okay. I'll be home late, so don't wait up for me. He left All some right. cash for her to order dinner, kissed her on the head, and headed out the door. Okay. Later that day, Donna came back home from school. Usually her dad would be home from work at this time, so it was weird coming home to such a still and quiet house. Oh, so she sat at the empty. kitchen table and started to do some homework. That's Suddenly, she felt a sharp pain in her neck. Oh it went away goodness. as quickly as it came, so okay. she decided to ignore it. All right. Ow! Okay. Her neck stung again. Did she not look around? The pain was getting more and more intense. She ran to the freezer to grab an ice pack and placed it on her neck. Okay. The pain began to fade away. That's good. I wonder what that was all about she thought to herself. Okay. It was now 8 o'clock and still no word from her dad. She figured she could wait up a little longer for him and decided to order some pizza. Hi, I'd like to make an order. So it was like 8 o'clock? Yeah, still sure, I can hold. The subject is still on the loose. The police are recommending everybody lock their doors and windows and not answer the door for anybody, oh my especially goodness. at night. Hi, can I get a large pepperoni pizza? Oh, she's not going to It was getting pretty in. late and she began to doze off on the couch and dream. She was a little girl again, Aww. in the house she used to live in when her mom was still alive. Oh, Donna was sitting at the kitchen table, and she looked over at the stove where a woman with her back turned was making breakfast. Mm -hmm. Mom? The woman turned around. It was her mother. Okay. She walked That's over good. to the table and placed a plate of eggs in front of Donna. She whispered in her ear, Don't open the door. Oh, what? Okay. Suddenly, she found herself standing on the side of a busy highway, what? cars flying past her. She could hear someone calling her name in the distance. Really? Donna! 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 Oh my gosh. Across the highway, she began to make out a figure. It was her dad. Uh, oh, Donna, is this still in the dream? Open the door. Dad, I can't hear you. Where are you? Don't, Don't open the door. Oh. Donna sat up on the couch. Okay. What a weird dream. It felt so real. Right? The doorbell rang again. Oh, my food's here. Oh, no, no. She stood up and started walking towards the Did door. Did she not look at the people? But stopped when she passed a window. It was a lot darker outside than she remembered. Mm -hmm. How long was I asleep for? A very long time. She looked at her phone. It was 1 a.m. No. She called up the stairs. No. Dad? Are you home? Oh, goodness. The doorbell began it's to ring more persistently. Dad, is that you? It's not your she food. She went to the door and looked through the peephole. It was her dad. Finally. Oh, she went to okay. slide the lock open, but quickly locked the door again. Okay, that's good. Something wasn't right. All right. She didn't have that feeling when she knew her dad was nearby. Okay. Then okay. she remembered her father's voice from her dream. Don't, Don't open, open the, the door. door. She looked through the peephole again. All right, what did you say? Dad, are you okay? Did you forget your keys? Yeah, where are, where are your keys? Is someone there with you? Dad, oh, why are you even... acting really weird? Yeah, he's not answering. The doorbell kept ringing. Don't answer it. I need you to answer me. Don't answer. I'm not opening this door until you answer me. Don't answer. The ringing went Don't on the and on and on. She didn't know what to do. Eventually, she collapsed on the floor in tears and oh. ended up falling asleep next to the front door oh. to the seemingly never-ending bell. Oh, no. Donna woke up the next morning on the doormat. Okay. The doorbell had stopped ringing. That's good. Dad, are you home? Where's no reply. her father? She looked inside the peephole. Her dad was still there, staring at her just as he had the night before. Oh my gosh. She carefully opened the door and froze. 
Her father's head stared back at her. Oh my gosh! On the ground was a note. Oh my gosh. I know you're all alone now. Oh Thanks for watching. Oh my gosh. Do you have any ideas for future volumes? I'd love to hear them in the comments. Oh my Once gosh. Scary so they murdered her father and had the head just at the door. Is this a fake story or a real story? Because people be crazy. That was hella unsettling, yeah. That was like, that's, oh my gosh. That's so sad, okay? And apparently this person has been watching her because for her to, oh my gosh. The, oh my goodness, I'm putting everything together. She said the psychic connection that she had with her father and she felt the stabbing in the neck, like the prick in the neck. That means that's when they were cutting off the father's head. She felt that. Oh my gosh. You know, like you hear about people, like mostly it's twins though, that have that psychic connection where um, it's not that they know what the other's thinking, but if, so, if one gets hurt, the other one feels it, you know? And I believe like stuff like that can happen. You know, I believe that some people can be so intertwined or on the same wavelength that when one gets hurt, the other feels it. And for her to feel the pricks in her neck, that's when her father's head was getting cut off. And he's been gone this whole time. She didn't know he was dead. And then um, in the dream, he was telling her, don't open the door. I know some people may think I'm crazy, but I do believe that, um, there can, there, there is, a, I believe stuff like this can happen, like where people try to connect with you or, com or, or communicate with you, you know, if you've passed and you're dreaming, because I, I won't go into too many details about my experience, because uh, I don't want to cry, I don't want to turn this into a sad situation, but wow. Wow, 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 freaking wow. Oh my goodness. That was unsettling. That was so unsettling. I need a minute. Give me a second. That poor girl. That poor, poor girl. Dear. Well, I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'm gonna end the gameplay here. I'm mixing my content, y'all. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. But yeah, um, wow. Let me know your thoughts. How did this make you feel? Let me know down below in the comment section. If you like the video, check out the link in the description box below to support Snarl. Dear word. If you like this video, hug the life out of that like button. I love you guys as always. And until next time, buddies. Toodles.